Often in the marketplace you will be presented with a lot that has a variety of materials in it. Not all of them will be for the same kind of purpose. And sometimes you'll get pieces that are rich in just chrysocolla, but it has an interesting patterning. So as pure hard chrysocolla, this is very scarce. It is not like the gem silica, which has chalcedony plus chrysocolla. This is just pure chrysocolla. And you can see some of the patterns in it. Spherical, interlocking, zoned pieces. You'll only get one face of usable gem chrysocolla out of this, but it may be a brooch, it may be a fine piece that you're going to create, wire wrap set in gold, set in silver, whatever your choices are. But you may only get one superlative piece out of this one. And this lot also has some uncolored chrysocolla. You can see that it's transparent and that can be utilized in a wide variety of motifs. You can be creative with how it's used. Here is a piece that has a central core of chrysocolla. You can see through it. It has a translucency to it. I'll put it in the shadow so you can see how much. And that in itself has a beautiful patterning and may be very desirable to the right customer. So a mixed lot with greens, patterns. These are really remarkable. You can see these long needle-like inclusions in the gem silica. This is very, very unusual and it's a nice slab, double-sided and this alone may convince some lapidaries to acquire an entire lot. This is a bigger lot. It has around 3,500 plus carats in it. There are greens, greens and whites, but most of a lot, this particular lot, has high utility. You can see that there is a zone of Chalcedony going through this, this would probably be made into two pieces of jewelry. You would separate these two. And that's one of the things you think about when you're out looking for materials for your workshop, home, hobby, or business. These all came from the Inspiration Mine in Arizona quite some time ago. Some of these are zoned and so Hopefully this lot will be an interesting experience for you so that you'll see the potential this material has. This particular one is actually a Druzy Chrysocolla Chalcedony coating on top of some Chrysocolla. So this isn't quite gem silica, but it's very popular with people. Smaller pieces give you smaller pieces of jewelry and you don't match the colors as easily. Let's see what these look like when they're wet. You want to look at every piece when you're working with a mixed lot to see how each one is going to change when it goes from dry to wet. It shows very lovely color and patterning. It's a nice thick vein cut. Let's see what this one does. That immediately becomes lively and more interesting when it's wet. Not It'll look better when it's polished, but you can begin to see what it will look like as you get it wet. Each one has its own characteristic.
This one is quite green in appearance. More like some of the Peruvian gem silica that you may have seen on the market. But you can see quite nicely that these all are from the same place. This one just emerged as a really exquisite pure chrysocolla in gem silica. So that will cut and polish very nicely. Beautiful poppy-like shape patterning. Again, much beautiful colors. What appeared to be a varied lot, perhaps not of initial interest to you, comes to be lively immediately when you see what it can be when it's wet.